Menstruation is a natural process which occurs in female, also known as periods. It is the regular discharge of blood and mucosal tissue from the inner lining of the uterus through the vagina. This discharge occurs due to breakdown of endometrium lining in the female reproductive system. Bleeding usually occurs for around 2 to 7 days. Up to 80% of women have some symptoms either prior or during the menstruation which may include acne, abdominal cramps, headache, mood swings, etc. A proper menstrual hygiene. Change your sanitary napkins every 4 to 6 hours. Wash yourself properly and keep your vaginal area clean. Wash reusable pads properly. Don't use soap or any vagina hygiene products during the menses. Avoid the use of clothes because it may cause skin rashes. Use only one method of sanitation at a time. Discard the sanitary napkins and tampons properly. So, how are we going to reduce the pain and inflammation caused during menstruation? Here are some home remedies. First, asafoetida in buttermilk. Second, coriander seeds and cinnamon sticks. Third, overnight soaked raisins and saffron strands. These all substances consist of some active ingredients and important vitamins which are responsible to reduce the pain and inflammation caused during menstruation. Menstruation cycle, it is this natural and cyclic changes which are occurring in the girl or the woman in every corner of the body. In the urban areas, the awareness about it is quietly created in the school and colleges. But in the rural area, the scenario is completely changed. 16% of the girls are just using sanitary napkins, while the 62% of the girls are using fabric cloth, which is leads to the various diseases such as damage in the fallopian tube, various clots and cancer, or infertility because of the removal of the uterus. It is also misunderstood that the Menstruation cycle is connected with the religious purpose, so that's why the women or the girls which are undergoing through that cycle, they are kept out of the house for 5 to 6 days unless they are done. But it leads to the death of that woman. So nowadays, various campaigns are running through to create an awareness about it. So it is the responsibility of each and every one to teach, to create an awareness about menstruation cycles in the related sisters which are present around us. There are some communities in India where a woman is considered impure when she is on her periods. She is not allowed to enter into the kitchen. At times, she is not even allowed to touch her kids. This is not only seen in India but all across the globe. Like in Afghanistan, there is a man that a woman, sorry, a menstruating woman can't take bath during her periods. And if she does, she becomes infertile. In Nepal, a menstruating woman is asked to stay in cow shed in isolation. After all this, we need to understand that menstruation is a natural and biological process and nothing else. Moreover, we all need to accept that a woman shouldn't be discriminated for this.